Are you ready? Best Robotics is a national high school and middle school robotics competition. Grove City College partners with Best to bring this competition to Western Pennsylvania and Ohio. In September of 2011, Wolverine Best Robotics held the kickoff day where teams gathered to learn about this year's game and receive the materials to build their robot. Our teachers just found out about Best and we're from Dubois and they decided that we're going to try it out this year. I, I personally want to do it because I'm not like too excellent with engineering things and I want to broaden my horizon in it. Um, I'm here to learn, to experience something new, and to have fun. And we're all excited about this. We get to learn new things. We're given a list of stuff in a box and you have to make it work. I'm hoping they'll figure out how to make something out of nothing. Just to learn some of the engineering concepts and, and really get them involved with engineering and, and robotics and um, just to kind of foster the, the desire to kind of do that maybe long term. They're going to need to know, you know how to make things, how to build things, um, so I think that's something that's important for the future. Yes, I'm majoring in mechanical engineering this next fall. I guess this is a good way to see if we like it or not. Four weeks later, at Ross Park Mall in the North Hills of Pittsburgh, the teams were given a chance to test their robots on the course and see what improvements could be made. It's our first time in this, so uh, we really didn't know what we were getting into. We got everything together, and I think it's, I think it's going to turn out pretty well. It's been interesting. It's the first yeah. time I've done anything like this. It, it's so. been stressful. It's the biggest problem at first. Different like personalities constricting with each other. Uh, Everyone has different ideas. Now that we're kind of into it and we're used to the whole working together thing, it's really going a lot better. All right, nope, keep going this way a little more. Good job. Oh! We've got, still got to work on some of the parts. Finding out how we can better our robot, of course, like to actually work and get the cast we need to get done, done. And seeing how everybody else does it, it's kind of interesting to see like their ideas too. Uh, we're gonna sturdy up the wheels a bit. We found out that some of these obstacles are doing a little bit of uh, pretty heavy damage on the wheels and the hubs that we made. So we're gonna try and find a better way to attach them. We're gonna try to change the pulling mechanism, which is basically a way of obtaining all three of the bugs and add the two more to catch the bugs that we collect. We have a claw and uh, it weighs a lot more than we thought it was, so we're gonna work on that this week. And then also the wheels, you know, getting up over the PVC pipes and uh, through this wood block area. We, we have everything ready, it's just we don't have it on the robot. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go back through and kind of redesign everything. At Grove City College, two weeks later, the students' work was put to the test on game day. And we're off to round five. Our robot functions, it moves, it grabs, the arm is fully capable. Everyone on the team knows exactly what they're trying to do. The kids are just having a great time. The whole weekend's just been a lot of fun. Uh, it's great to see them have a plan and have it work. Uh, to them to design something and see it in action and it be successful. This was our first design. At Mall Day, we realized that it was much too heavy for the servos that were powering the bending movement. So we had to basically trash that idea and move on to something new, which brought us closer to this. And we decided on using a telescopic arm that would extend out rather than bend out. And we swapped our motors around a lot from using the larger motors with more torque and less speed for the wheels on this design to using the small motors for more speed, less torque. And then we'd have more torque for the movement of our arm. As the day goes, you learn. You see this strategy works, that one doesn't. You make modifications on the robot. So you really need to learn how to work with other people. You gotta have teamwork. Especially with projects, long-term projects like this, you gotta work as a team, it's not gonna work.
sort of been our motto going into a, a lot of this stuff is, um, you know, expect things to sort of not work the first time. Uh, expect that you're going to uh, face adversity, uh, whether it's, you know, in your career, academically, um, or wherever. Uh, you're going to have some adversity, like, how do we deal with those problems? When, you know, the robot falls apart, you know, how do we deal with that? Do we just throw in the towel, or, or do we, like, sort of rebound from that? and uh, it started to turn a lot better and we were able to pick up a lot more. It was really close. We had some good competition towards the end and pulled through, pulled through. Our school, our whole school came together and we did that. We did such a good job, teamwork. All the encouragement from the other teams, everything everybody did here was great. I feel like I'm gonna go to Disney World, but I'm going to Auburn, Alabama. Yeah, it's great. Oh, it's been great. It's been awesome. I uh, learned a lot. Uh, trial and error. Everything's trial and error. Well, I don't know if I'll stick with robots, but I'll definitely be in the engineering field. 